Let's talk about the IELTS speaking and especially what to do for the part 2 question. Are you confused on how to start or how to end your IELTS part 2 conversation? Well, have no fear. Today I am going to teach you some easy peasy phrases that will make this Herculean task really simple. Let's start learning. All right. So before we jump into the IELTS speaking phrases, I just want to give a short introduction as to what the speaking test is all about. The IELTS speaking happens on a different day than the listening, reading and writing. You will be face to face with an examiner and he will ask you a couple of questions and you just have to answer it. That's it. You have a part one, which is just a Q&A, questions and answers. A part two where you will get a cue card and you have to prepare on that topic impromptu and answer and then you've got a part three which is also a discussion kind of a questionnaire based on your cue card okay so that's a quick idea about the IELTS speaking if you want to know more then feel free to check out my introduction video on the IELTS okay so here we go let's start with the introductory phrases that you can actually use okay so say suppose a question is given to you okay you can start it by using any of these phrases one today i would like to talk about da, 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 da. give it that the second phrase that you can do is today i would like to discuss da, 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 da. put in the topic the third one that you can use is either good morning or good afternoon okay and then today i want to give you a short talk on da, 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 given the topic okay say suppose if your topic is about football you can just say today i would like to talk about football okay any of those three phrases will help you to get a good introduction now after your introduction, you can then jump on to the main body of your speech. Okay, I would say you can categorize your entire speaking style into a three paragraph structure. You can have an introduction, you can have a body and then you have a conclusion. For the introduction, I just gave you three phrases. To move on to the body, you can use any of these particular phrases. The first one is first of all. The second that you can use is to begin with and the third that you can use is and why do I like it so much well it da, 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 da. that's it nothing else so you can use any of these above three phrases which are first of all or to begin with or and why do I like it so much well it go on so you can use any of these three phrases for your body. Now comes to the last part, which is the conclusion. But wait, before I jump into the conclusion, if you are getting some value out of this video, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you've not still joined our YouTube community, then feel free to join us by just hitting that subscribe button. Now let's jump on to the conclusion phrases. After you discuss your entire topic, you will have to conclude your speech and give the examiner a quick one-line summary of what you just told him or her. To start this part of speech, you will want to begin with something like, first one, in conclusion, very simple one, right? In conclusion, da, 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 you go on with your topic. The next you can use is to wrap up. Da, 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 da. then to conclude da, 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 da. and finally you can also use to sum up da, 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 da. that's it okay these are the four conclusion phrases that you can use now since you have been here for this particular video i've got some bonus phrases for you there are lots of useful phrases you can use to actually link your ideas you see you have to always link one idea to another so you can say something like one of the options is another reason why I like 
then you put in your thing or else you can use for instance this is also another good linking word that you can use and the last one is this appeals to me because so and so so and so so i've not given you 10 but i've given you 13 different phrases that's all for today and if you want to learn anything more well stay tuned because on this channel we are releasing a lot of informative videos feel free to share this with your friends and also do check out some of our other videos on this channel if you are serious about your goals and would like to get some professional guidance with your IELTS exam then well you guessed it we are there for you all you have to do is log on to our website drop us a query and quickly you can sign up with us you can also use the contact form in the comment section leave your details and we will get back to you that's it from genesis learning this week thank you so very much for stopping by i'm your trainer noel and wish you a fantastic week ahead ciao